Hi everyone, today we are doing a placard video on the most Google questions on period pain with Dr. Preeti Mehra. Hi ma'am. Hi. So I like to ask, uh, when does period pain affect under the age of 20? Ah, well period pains under 20 are not uh, that very much common because as a female usually starts with a menarche at around uh, 13. Nowadays that has come down to even 11. So it's just the starting of your hormonal uh, uh, cycle. Uh, the main pathology or you can say uh, is not there at that, uh, that very young age. But yeah, uh, see pain threshold for every uh, human is very different. So how much, how much do you persist, like you know, how much do you can take up the pain? That depends like person to person. So usually period pain below 20 are very less. Thank you ma'am. Uh, so I like to ask one, four more questions with you. Uh, the next would be, let me do it. <laughs> uh, does period pain affect us more when there's a family history of painful periods, ma'am? Um, I'll tell you the period pains are usually of two types in uh, medical term. If we go ahead, uh, it is primary dysmenorrhea and the secondary dysmenorrhea. Primary is basically because of your uterine contraction. That is very much common that like you know it's it happens in every every female so that's earlier I told you it's the like you know the threshold of a person of the pain how much they can handle rest is your secondary uh, dysmenorrhea yeah they can be a little bit like you know there are genetic histories for endometriosis and all so yes they can be you know from generation to generation I can say okay thank you ma'am it actually helped me a lot since I do have painful periods and I always used okay. to doubt myself so that clear a lot for me. Uh, the next I would like to ask you ma'am would be this. Does it affect when you're smoking ma'am? Smoking affects the factors which are responsible for your uh, period pains but not directly. I won't say directly smoking affects yeah but it does affect if you have some pathology which can cause period pains. So ideally the smoking does not affect our reproductive uh, It cycle. does. It does. Okay, it, it does. It does affect but I'm saying it won't cause you the pain. It okay. won't be a direct cause for the pain, pain. But yeah, it can affect the pathology which is behind the pain. Like if you have PCOS and you are smoking, you're definitely your PCOS is going to go like you know, it's going to go up in the rise only. Your hormonal levels are going to get unbalanced. That will cause for like you know, that will cause you the period pain. Okay. So think how the smoking effect. <laughs> okay. Thank you ma'am. Um, just the second. They're too long. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so when uh, we are having period pain and we are simultaneously suffering from bleeding also, mm -hmm. is there any connection with the amount of bleeding we have and the pain that we suffer? Yeah, as I told you before also in the smoking, uh, heavy bleeding are basically related to your hormonal disbalances and uh, the period pain are basically, earlier I told you, in the secondary one, the pathology will get affected. Heavy pains are sometimes related to period pain. Uh, I won't say 100%, yeah, 50% of the cases we can uh, have like, you know, heavy bleeding along with period pains. Okay. And ma'am, the last one for you. Uh, So uh, sometimes we suffer from irregular periods, so does it affect the intensity of pain we have? See, I'll tell you all the three questions, all the same, they all have the same answers. Pathology gets affected, that can lead to your period pain. As I told you before, smoking, endometriosis, PCOS, they are the factors. Second one over here, the heavy bleeding part, PCOS is major factor. And in irregular periods, there are many conditions which are related to irregular periods, okay. so. Patients, you know, for what is the basic mindset of a person is like, you know, if they get periods after two two months, they'll say, "Ke bhai, andar kachda jama ho gaya, aur itna sara nikal gaya." And that is the reason they're having a lot of pain. Yeah, sometimes this is true also. It can be like, you know, withdrawal bleed, which can let, uh, which can, you know, lead to uh, uh, strong uterine contractions, which you perceive as period pains. So yeah, definitely. Okay. Thank you so much, ma'am. It was very informative. I personally felt that a lot of my doubts and anxieties have been covered Welcome. and I feel a lot of the women here would relate to this. So please watch the video and like and subscribe. Thank you. If you have any other query, please put them under the comment box below. And we have another video coming up on irregular periods. So stay tuned.